welcome to the November edition of Counselor's Corner. I am Jill English, counselor at Dow High School, and sitting with me is Lori Hallberg, also a counselor at Dow High. We are here today to give you an update on what's happening in the counseling world at both Dow High and Midland High. So let's begin with college applications. While the big rush of college application season is behind us, there is still time for students to get their plans in order for life after graduation. If a student plans to go to college next fall and they have not applied yet, they will need to go to the college's website to complete an online application. The second component of the application process is to request a transcript to be sent online at parchment.com. The counselors have helped all seniors through the process of creating their parchment accounts. They should come see us if they have any questions about it. And the third and final piece that's required to complete a college application is to make sure that either the ACT or SAT score has been sent to the college. This is done through their account they created either on actstudent.org or collegeboard.org. For students who are interested in attending a career training program such as plumbing, electrician, sheet metal, welding, HVAC, mechanic, certified nursing assistant, lab technician, etc., the, the list is quite lengthy. There are a number of great programs available through places such as Greater Michigan Construction Academy, Merrill Institute, or Delta College. There are others as well. Students should see their counselor if they would like more information. Also, the military recruiters visit the high schools about once a month, and this gives any interested students an opportunity to stop at their table during lunchtime to chat with them about opportunities in the military. Students, as in, students interested in the military will need to take the ASVAB, which is a military entrance exam, as well as a career interest inventory. This test will be given at Dow High on November 22nd and at Midland High on December 13th. Students can sign up in the counseling office. New this year, the FAFSA can be completed after October 1st, which is earlier than it has been in the past. It still needs to be submitted by March 1st. FAFSA stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, where both parents and students will use tax information from last year so this form can be completed quicker and easier. On Wednesday, November 9th, Midland Public Schools is hosting a FAFSA workshop at Dow High School. During this workshop, we will have financial aid advisors from Saginaw Valley State University and Delta College to assist our parents in completing the FAFSA. If you want to reserve a computer, contact either Jillian Dizik from Dow High or Karen Drawley from Midland High. Before a FAFSA can be submitted, both a parent and a student need to get a FSA ID. This Federal Student Aid ID can serve as your signature, and you can request your FSA ID online now before you complete the FAFSA. It'll be at fsaid.ed.gov. Um, if you cannot make the workshop at Dow High, Delta College is hosting more workshops. Check out the financial aid events page on their website for other dates and locations. In the beginning of November, 10th graders at both of the high schools will participate in a career fair. This is where local, pro local professionals will be available for students to ask questions about their job duties, schooling that was required to enter that field, and just about their job in general. We want students to learn about a variety of careers that they may be interested in and hoping that students will add some careers to their list that they want to do more research for. The end of the first marking period is Friday, November 11th. So don't forget that Home Access Center is always available to help you view current grades, attendance, and your student's high school transcript. If your student is struggling in a class and wants a tutor, have them talk to their counselor and we can connect them with a National Honor Society member who excelled in that class. Well, that's it for November. Join us next month when we'll have more information that is important for you to know.